Proper fitting life jacket and working radio. Those are just two items you should have with you if you're going out on a boat this Memorial Day weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lois Tome. I'm Chris Safadi, and while you're out soaking up the sun, we want to make sure that you do it safely. Wink News reporter Michelle Alvarez spent the day at Salty Sam's Marina on Fort Myers Beach. She talked to a boat captain about staying safe on a boat. What did he say? Too many boaters know the rules but fail to follow them. They've got the life jackets, they've got the radio and fire extinguisher in case of a fire. But Captain Combs told me actually wearing the life jacket and knowing how to use the equipment saves lives. Memorial Day weekend. Lots of boaters on the water. A perfect time, says Captain John Combs, to remind everyone safety at sea is everyone's responsibility. Just like if you're driving a car down I-75, you want to be in the right frame of mind and you don't want to be drinking and you want to be very aware of everything around you. It's no different on the water. From canoes to paddle boats to motorized boats, Captain Combs says too many operators and riders fail to wear life jackets. The majority of people that die on the water from uh, or die from drowning and it's because and most of them are, aren't wearing life jackets. I went on the boat with Captain Combs, who's a member of the Freedom Boat Club. Friday's weather, not great. He told me knowing the conditions while out in the water is also a must. We have a storm that's just north of us. We're right on the edge of it. Uh, the winds are picking up a little bit. You feel a little coolness in the air and lightning's in that storm. So we want to make sure we get back to the dock safely. And lastly, we can't forget about sea creatures, of course. How important is it to be vigilant of those guys out there? Well, it's it's critical. you gotta, uh, you got to obey the manatee zones, the no-wake zones. Make sure that you're boating slow. I mean, you're out on the water. What better place to be? And so take your time, don't be in a hurry, and observe all the signs. Freedom Boat Club has 13 locations across the Fort Myers and Naples area and offers a three-hour boating course. Of course, people are going to bring alcohol on the boat, but it's illegal to operate a boat while drinking. I'm on Fort Myers Beach, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News.